Within this shale, we can see a perfect ammonite specimen preserved within. Separating the shale was really easy, and now we're holding a Jurassic ammonite fossil, so let's crack it open. Using our hammer, after literally a couple of hits, we're able to achieve a perfect split. Looking inside, the specimen is perfect. Absolutely surreal that this was just sat there in that shale. First time it's seen the light in 180 million years. After a rough sea, we decided to go looking for some fossils. The water was backing away and revealed this fresh nodule was waiting to be picked up. It was lovely and round and almost certainly would contain a fossil. The first one was empty so we found another, which did indeed contain an ammonite. Let's look inside. There we go, a Jurassic ammonite revealed all the way to the centre. If it wasn't for this rough sea, we would certainly never have found this fossil. We can't wait for the next storm, so we can find more fossils, just like this one. This large boulder was revealed after a storm. It was just laid on the beach ready to be opened up. We set it down into the perfect place and started opening it with our hammer. After a number of hammer blows, we managed to establish a crack all the way through the centre of the rock. It broke into several pieces and unfortunately on this occasion there was no fossil inside whatsoever. Better luck next time.
We found this massive boulder during a rough storm. We couldn't wait to see if there were any fossils preserved inside of it. Positioning it, we began using our hammer to open it up. The nodule was relatively soft and we were able to open it really easily. Inside, we could see traces of a compressed Jurassic ammonite fossil. Rather than the specimen being preserved three-dimensional, it was unfortunately crushed, but still has a beautiful appearance of that Jurassic shell and calcite. This was a really cool find on a stormy day. This large rounded boulder was sat amongst lots of smaller pebbles on the beach. It was perfectly round and we started to crack it open. A really satisfying split formed directly through the centre of this boulder. Opening it up, we couldn't wait to see what was inside. Immediately we could see a crushed, partially preserved ammonite fossil on one half and on the other, lots of calcification. You can see here all of this natural calcite which has formed over several million years. Breaking the rock down a little bit further, we again couldn't see any evidence of fossils on this occasion, but hopefully next time there will be. On the beach, this enormous rock was laid there, just waiting to be opened. Turning the rock on its edge, we began to use our hammer to crack it open. It took quite a few hits, the rock was really tough, but finally, we managed to secure a split straight through the middle of this huge rock. Opening it up, we were so intrigued as to what could be inside. On this occasion, all we could see was calcification. No specific fossils as such, but it was worth a shot. Better luck next time.